Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 5 with a horrible amount of noise. You know what? We're going to drive away a little bit while they're beeping the horn. Uh, we're going to be playing a game of Bulldog or Sharks and Minnows as you might have called it in different countries. We've learned from doing this on Forza or from car games that it's called many different names in different countries. But the idea is simple. We have... A vehicle that starts in the middle. Chris is starting off this first round in the middle. Uh, their goal is to try and catch cars. They're going to be running from that side of the stadium over there. And if they catch a car, they then join the sort of catching team. And it's whoever's the last one standing racing across the stadium. Uh, who knows how this is going to work. We're all in B-class cars. The initial initial catching vehicle is halfway through A-class. Uh, just to give them a little bit of a chance. And, I mean, we've played this before, it's taken us a while to do on Horizon 5 because of issues with convoys and cars not appearing and being able to see each other is very important in this. Uh, Chris has, I think, just gone straight through the middle of this first one. Almost caught Amy, almost got Gliska, I think, uh, but did not quite make it. Uh, we are all running up here and we are all safe. Ewan is playing, it's a little bit risky with the Ford there, but uh, other than that, we are fine. Okay. Uh, Alright, we are off, so we're off once again. Now, I mean, there's all sorts of tactics involved. I'm happy, I don't really want to be in the first, or in the first rush. Did Liam get hit? I think Liam did. Yeah, or Liam has been caught. So, when there's only one catching car, the game is much easier. As soon as we start getting more catching cars, <laughs> just stolen Ewan's spot. <laughs> Sorry, Ewan. Uh, yeah, when there's one catching car, it's the easiest it ever is for us, essentially. Um, when there's two of them now, it gets more difficult. They can sometimes stumble over each other, uh, trying to get somebody. Where there's a whole big old mess of cars. I've got to try and outrun Liam, actually. That could be a little bit... If Liam knows I'm here, we could be in trouble. I don't think Liam did, really. Uh, we are going to make sure we get clear, though, with a little bit more speed. Out there and jump the free. I don't think Liam knew I was there. Um... Because could have done, say more could have been more difficult for me to uh, to get through that one. Oh, sorry, Blakey. Uh, well, I guess we're going. Um, right, they have all broken that way. Oh, Liam's turning back. There are unfortunately a couple of randoms around. Well, they are in hypercars, so it's easy enough to spot those. Um, they are in the best of hypercars, the Apollo IE, by the looks of it. And I think we all make it. I think we all make it through there. Uh, Chris went off. See, I'm kind of happy to sort of sit slightly further back with this. So Chris releases them. We don't have to go crazy fast into all of this. Um, oh, and Pega's going to get caught there. Liam is coming across to try and catch us. Where is Chris? I don't know. Liam might might be able to get back at us. Won't quite catch. Won't quite catch. We will jump clean. I had to put my foot down, though. The Eclipse is pretty good. Some 400 horsepower Eclipse, all-wheel drive, off-road race tyres. It's solid as far as B-class cars go. Um, so, they've got two pickup trucks and a BMW saloon car. Uh, all right, Liam's committed. Oh, and Pega's coming across our direction and misses. Where is Chris? Somewhere over there. I think we all make. Oh god, Pegasus truck is shifting. <laughs> go, 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 get out of there, please. Woo. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. I'm not going to be the one that gets caught, like, just by the exit because they were slowing down, thinking they were clear. We're not going to go for that. Oh, uh, we're a little bit parked over the line. We would definitely get a jump start penalty for that one. Blakey's giving us a help. Uh,. There's going to be a gap to aim for there. I see what Impega's going for tactic-wise. Impega's tactic is actually pretty solid. Uh, although... Has... Might have caught Gliska. Oh, dear! <laughs> Rolled off the roof of Amy's Jeep. <laughs> that was a good crash. That was a good crash indeed. Actually, no, it's not a Jeep. It's a Jop. That's, that's all that one is. We rolled off the roof of the Jop. Oh, did Blakey get caught? Blakey got caught. Oh, damn. We're now down to five remaining. There is an Escort, a GT90, a Sylvia, a Jop, and the Eclipse is aiming for the middle. I have a feeling another thing's got caught. Oh, there's Liam patrolling. I didn't even see Liam was down there. Ewan is through. The GT90 is out. We're out. 
Um, Aaron and Amy look like they've made it through as well. So was that the Nissan of Rusky, I think, got caught? Yeah, we're down. It's, then there were four. Two Fords, a Jop, and an Eclipse. I'm all-wheel drive. Amy's all-wheel drive. Two Fords are, I think, rear-wheel drive in this one. Uh, we're in second gear there. That was not what I wanted to be in. It's starting. I think Rusky's caught somebody. It might be you and the got caught. And Pega's trying to catch Amy, and I'm going to go, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Amy might have got caught. I think they've all got caught. I think Aaron got caught. Yeah, Aaron got caught. Amy got caught. The Eclipse is the victor. Now comes the challenge round for a bonus, uh, just for honour, really. Can the Eclipse make it through everyone? Oh, bloody hell. Go on, Rimac. Can you be a distraction? I've stalled it off the line because I'm in second gear again. <laughs> I was in the wrong gear. Uh, that's so difficult to try and go through everybody. Uh, although, yeah, starting in second did not help. Oh, dear. I, I thought I was going to be just quick enough to get in front of Impega. That uh, Toyota is fast. Well, first round, we claim victory. We don't get the bonus point, but we do claim victory. So, having taken a victory, that means I start as the catching car. I have gone for a Golf. It's a very fast, well, it's a very fast car. It's actually got less power than my Eclipse, uh, despite being halfway through A class. I've gone for a more agility approach than outright speed. So, my hope is I'm going to be better handling than the cars that we are trying to chase. Uh, Impega, oh, oh, almost got Liam. Liam was almost the first one caught twice. Uh, I'm not going to be able to chase down anything there, I don't think. Nope, no point. Oh, well, Rusky did make it onto the, if you're onto the concrete, I think you're safe. Um, so, despite the fact Rusky hit the wall, uh, they did get through the, uh, through the area. Uh, so, yeah, this isn't the fastest thing in a straight line. It is, it is surprisingly rapid for what it is. Um, but it's not going to, some of these will be faster than me in a straight line. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we caught Chris. <laughs> we did the silly dance of which way to go, and Chris didn't know what way to go, and I had the grip to be able to counter whatever might happen. Uh, and there we go. I thought I'd chase just in case anybody does something dumb. Sometimes you've just got to make sure. So, we have got, well, Volkswagen, uh, the VAG group is represented here with an RS6 and a Golf R. Uh, let's go and fire. What do we fancy trying to go for now? I think a truck is a good idea. Uh, oh, Gliska got saved by a bloody Maserati in that one. I don't know where Chris is. Anyone seen Chris? Oh, Chris is over there. I'm going to guess didn't work. <laughs> yeah, the Maserati bounced the truck. The truck wasn't going to have the steering to outmaneuver us, but uh, the Maserati bounced it out of the way, and I couldn't. I then couldn't change direction uh, quick enough. All right, Chris is here. Uh, we will... I think they're still turning around. We'll give them just a little bit of a second. I think someone rolled and got reset. Actually, I have a feeling it was Aaron. Uh, I think it was an escort that got reset. I could be wrong, though. Uh, right. Who is going where? Uh... Impega, come here. <laughs> that works for me! <laughs> we just had the acceleration and the grip. Uh, to do that, we'll chase down no one's left. Chris caught someone as well. Who did Chris get? Ah, oh, Chris caught a Ewan. That is the Maserati in the center now. Oh, it's going to be tough for them. It's, good. it's getting a lot more difficult uh, in terms of surviving. Surviving this one. Hello, everybody. Uh, oh, I still see a car coming down to the sort of starting area. Uh, it's e very easy. Oh, it's very easy to overshoot. The uh, You're trying to get through the gate as quick as possible. Uh, right, we're going. Rusky is definitely going to get caught. Gliska is going to... <laughs> Definitely get caught. <laughs> uh, well, we did a good job on that side. That we were effective at dealing with that side. It was unfortunate uh, for uh, for Rusky and Gliska. They they went to uh, they went to the corner and got a bit stuck. Uh, the truck will probably be quite useful. I don't know about the muscle car. Uh, that thing's very wobbly and wonky, and by the looks of it, a horrible mess to drive. Okay, Gliss is going for the other approach. Your turn to approach is actually a pretty solid approach, that one. Uh, we will go for a boop. I don't know if we caught Blakey. Um, I think Blakey thinks they're caught. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I, I think I got both of them. I think I got both of them in that crash. Uh, that's a double, a double booping. Uh, it was, it was very close. If Blakey had driven off, I would probably not have, I say, been that fast. If Blakey obviously thought they got, perhaps on their end, it looked like they got caught. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I bounced into their car uh, off the nose of it, uh, which is unfortunate for, for Blakey. Um, I'm going to see where Liam goes. If Liam... Oh, Liam has done it! Liam has dodged everybody, but not the Volkswagen! <laughs> Liam did a great... Liam did better than me. Liam got past the first line. Could not get past the second line. And it will be... Uh, well, a capture, but Liam will take victory in round number two. We're going to reset and go again, because this is fun. So, for our next round, we have gone up a class. The... Uh, I guess the starting cars are A-Class, with the catcher uh, being a mid-S1 class. Uh, I've got a DeLorean, because it has only 700 horsepower, and it's actually quite quick accelerating. I figured it'd be a good option. We've got all sorts of silly options, though, about... Uh, we've got a DBX, there's an i8, there's a Caterham, uh, there's a Manx over there, there's a Twin Mill, it's all sorts of silliness, and there's some randomness have turned up. Oh, and there's the horrific Sierra buggy. It's... I can't stand those. They're very, very fast, but I can't drive them because they're way too twitchy normally. Um, who knows? Who knows what we're going to uh, find here? Liam is our starting catching car, and we can just do silly light patterns with the DeLorean. There's a lot of noise in this tunnel. There's a lot of noise. Uh, we will just add to this. There we go. We, were, we are unleashed from this. What side is Liam going? Liam's going after... Chris and Impega and Mrs. Uh, we are through the middle and we are safely, uh, safely done, really. Out the other side, we all, we're into the side of the Aston Martin. Blakey jumps the Camaro over all of us and we are fine. So, yeah, I mean, at this early stage, <laughs> there is the silly game of. Ah, no! <laughs> there is a silly game of just push your friends into the arena. Uh, did it, was there, I don't think there was a go command. We all just pushed each other in. I feel like we've not done this properly. We are the least organized group of people. That was a go command. We are the least organized group of people ever. Uh, well, I'm not sure the twin mill can turn very well in this one. Uh, we will buzz across here. We'll be fine. Liam is not even chasing. Uh, Liam realized that it was not going to be able to catch, so it's just gone back to the center. Uh, it's probably worth it. Who's getting pushed into the arena? Well, Ewan's pointing the wrong way. It's us. <laughs> Wow, ah, okay, we're going. Uh, right, where is that Beamer going? It's getting fired at Twin Mill and the Manx, and it misses the Twin Mill and the Manx, and we are across quite nice, quite safely. Uh, and Chris is going to make sure... I don't want to jump that far, goddammit. The uh, M8 is very heavy and pushes the little DeLorean around. Um, actually, the DeLorean... What's this one? £3,000, which... In... Real car terms is not very heavy, but in uh, Forza terms, for my A-Class cars, I think that's a, on the heavier side, which random has turned up. Uh, right. Oh, BMW through the center of all of that. We will then just out accelerate, and Liam is going to, once again, sit and park it. Uh, yeah, the whole just waiting a, just a second is working out for us. Is working out for us. I mean, actually, even when we've been one of the first ones in, Liam's just gone the other side, so we haven't had too much trouble. You and starting backwards. Um, a brave, a brave choice. We shall see if it works. Oh, we're off. I wonder if you want to try to do the whole thing in reverse. It, oh, you and definitely got hit. Well, the uh, <laughs> the started reverse play, funnily enough, didn't quite pan out. Uh, now there are two. Now it does get more difficult, of course. Um, two vehicles catching. There goes the twin mill. I don't know where it went. It got lost. Uh, it does become increasingly, increasingly difficult. It's always the first, the first capture is always the toughest. Uh, now we're going to have two things to worry about. Two directions to be watching uh, as we are released out of the world's noisiest tunnel. Uh, Amy's vehicle does a wheelie. That's quite funny to see. Uh, <laughs> across the grass. I, for a second, lost sight of Liam in that one. I nearly got in trouble uh, with that. Oi! Blakey, you little git. Uh, 
You bugger. Right, we're going to try and push Blakey into something, if we can. God oh dear. Someone ended up upside down. I'm not sure who. Ah! <laughs> Chris got two of us into the arena. <laughs> Admittedly, one was a caterer, so it's not exactly uh, heavy, that thing. Oh, the Manx is wheeling. Uh, Liam. Liam. Oh, Liam flung it and caught Blakey. I'm about to say Liam shot through the middle. I'll tell you what, Liam is being very, very aggressive with the. Uh, uh, what's my called on that one? Just flinging that BMW straight at the cars almost before we've left the gate. Um, which is a, a, it's a solid tactic. Um, that means we're not up to speed. <laughs> well, <laughs> now they've got to go. I hope this guy gets caught for that one. Uh, it was very close. Oh, you know, it's going for us. I was just praying I had the acceleration and grip to make that one work. Um, I think Gliska did get caught. For the silly start, I think it is deserved. <laughs> oh, hello, Amy. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, let's push the DBX in. Let's go. Let's go. We're not taking this very seriously, are we? <laughs> we know what happened last time. <laughs> oh, push the DBX in. Ah, <laughs> uh, brakes. Brakes are strong on this. DeLorean, go find some traction, get away from the Camaro. I think Chris got caught. <laughs> so that time, the game of push your friend into the arena early um, was uh, not so good for the Aston that was on the receiving end rather than me and Impega that were the uh, perpetrators, shall we say. Uh, are we trying to push the twin mill in? I've actually got the heaviest car here. Um... Yeah, I've got the heaviest car here by, uh, well, outside of the twin mill, of course. That thing will be heavier. Liam has twin. Oh, God, I didn't even see Gliska. Gliska did a great job there of uh, appearing from the side. And that would have caught the twin mill. We definitely will be the heaviest car now with the twin mill out. Um, I forgot how heavy that thing was, of course. Twin mill gone. It's now three ultra lightweights and a DeLorean are left. Uh, right. Come on, buggy. <laughs> uh. Right, uh, wait, well, Gliska put in chat, and I don't know whether that means, with there's been some kerfuffle with the starting sequence. Gliska put in chat, and I don't know whether we're supposed to be going or not. Amy went, some of us went, and I don't, no one really knows what's happening here. Because it wasn't the right start one, but Amy went, so I kind of figured we should go, and now we've really beans this up, but I think we made it through somehow. That, that, I'm just going to say that was just a confusion, that was just a confusion round there, Aaron's got through as well. It's a bit null and void. I don't think these three could push me in the arena if they wanted to. No, they, they're not. They're, it's not working. Right, here we go. Uh, Amy's gone that way, so we're going to escarpate uh, this direction. We will let them commit. Let them commit. Find some traction. Dodge through there. Then we are through the middle. Uh, I think we've all done it. Possibly. I think we all made it. How the hell are we doing this? <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe Amy got caught. Possibly. Okay, it looks like Amy did get caught. Must be like a last second uh, capture. Uh, Alright, let's go. Uh, I'm going over this direction. I think I can outrun Ewan. Can we outrun the Beamer? We can. We'll outrun the Camaro. Me and Impega are going to make it through. I don't know where Aaron is. Not seen Aaron. Uh, not seen anything come up in chat. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Liam's posted in chat, and Aaron got caught. Oh, the Sierra did well. The buggy did a really, really good job. Okay, Impega, it is down to us. We slightly bullied Chris at one point. We got bullied by Gliska. Oh, there comes the Manx. Right, run. Run, DeLorean. Okay, I mean, the best bet for us is to actually slightly uh, work together here. Uh, oh, yep, that was really close, but we got through. So, yeah, the best bet for us is to actually scatter. Uh, me and Pega want to set off and just go opposite directions. Um, is, uh, is, is our way to survive for as long as possible? Because if we drag as many cars away from each other, that is the best shot we get here. Um, all right, here we go. Okay. Yeah, we will scatter much as we did last time. There comes the Aston Martin. Won't be able to get to us. Can we outrun the Camaro? We can. But now they're just blocking up the exit gate. Uh, gears. Oh, yes! Woo! Oh, Christ. 
<laughs> I didn't want to stall it, but I wanted to be in a high enough gear to actually steal it. How the hell are we surviving through this many? I don't know. Uh, I mean, in Pega, we're kind of, we're pseudo-teamworking this. We both want to win, of course we do. I mean, so their game currently, so they have to start in the inner circle, but their game they're currently playing is to race to the exit and try and block us. Uh, right, we're going to aim for a gap that's appearing there, and then we're aiming for a gap there, and then we're aiming for a gap there. Oh, Rust got us. Good play. I will say well done on that one. We were shooting for so many guys. Well done in Pega for making that one work. I was trying to, we had the route, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't look back to see if a car was catching us. Um, there was no chance I could look back in time to see if, us, if anyone was approaching, because we happened to just try and find a gap in front. We had found it, I just couldn't carry the speed. Excellent catch. Impega will take victory in this one. Can Impega make it across here? Uh, Oh, hopefully someone will be close enough. No, nope, no one was behind. The little caterum was the way to go. I think it's made it as well. Impega makes it across. Good work. Good work from Impega. Good work from the caterum. Ah. Slight, I say I'm slightly disappointed. I had a really good round. So I hit my microphone there. Uh, I had a really good round, so I'm pleased with how well I got through. It's just the caterum had an even better round. I feel like that round would have won most games, but uh, Impega did even better. Ah, uh, on to the final, the final game. We are on to our final round here. Uh, I have managed to press a button, and we're in first person camera. I've got a Ferrari. Uh, I've got the most expensive car in this uh, in this field. Um, we've got a couple of repeat vehicles. Aaron's still sticking with the buggy. Uh, we've got some silly vehicles around for this. Impega is the catching vehicle. Uh, we will tell everybody that we are ready and see how things go. Um, the buggy has been flung around. Oh, okay, so Impega's in the Rallycross Beetle. Um, Aaron's very lucky. I don't think Impega realised the Sierra had spun in all of that. Um, oh, although might, I think Impega might have caught the Sierra on the way over. Oh dear. <laughs> well, Aaron's great performance in the previous round has uh, not lasted. Has not has not carried on into uh, into this one. Uh, I feel very very small in this field of cars. The thing smaller than me is the thing that got caught first. I mean, Ewan. So we are an A class. Ewan's McLaren uh, is an A class McLaren. Thanks to snow tires and aero, it is actually an A class vehicle. It's not very fast, but uh, it's not very fast around a circuit. It is an A class though, and apparently it survived here at least. That is the only other thing that is vaguely close to my size. Uh, <laughs> we are playing a silly game of push cars in again, are we? Oh, we're off. Everything is a go. Christ. Impega was committed into that launch. Aaron's gone chasing after a Liam. We'll miss. We will all be through safely. I mean, this this Ferrari... This Ferrari's not as powerful uh, as some of the cars I've used, but it's, it's £2,000. It's £2,000, about 450 horsepower. The DeLorean was over 3,660 horsepower. Uh, so the DeLorean will have a higher top speed and, and better acceleration. The Ferrari should have more agility. That's kind of what I'm going for here. Uh, while still being rapid accelerated because it is so small and light. Uh, we are through all of that. Um, Aaron might have caught Chris, I think, in that. We are over the jump. Uh, whoop. There's a lot of cars here, and I'm still pointing the wrong way. Whoop. We will turn around. Oh, nice and, well, fairly nice and easily there. Uh, right, three vehicles to go. Let the G-Wagon go. Let the G-Wagon take the heat. Yep, everyone wants to catch 6 by 6 I did a pretty good job, actually, ducking through that. Uh, we are through the mess. Watch out for anything reappearing. It doesn't... Oh, crap! <laughs> ah, no way, the G-Wagon was a very, very effective break. <laughs> Who would have thought the 6x6 is an excellent way of slowing down? Um, uh, I don't know if there was a go. No, this has just wandered in a little bit too soon. Right, so three kind of trucks, a muscle car and a supercar and a classic Ferrari remain. Oh, a lot less than that remain now. A lot less than that remain. Uh, the muscle car got caught, that's for sure. Uh, we're down to a rally fighter, a Jimmy, 
the 6x6 is somehow still alive in the McLaren. That's what's left. I guess Bliska got caught. Um, so the Barracuda is into the middle. Uh, Liam's got out. Um, it was the Barracuda and the Lexus that got caught. A lovely gap opened up. I'm not sure who got caught in that. Uh, everyone chased somebody off. I think that's Ewan. Damn it. The ty I, am, I am a very small car now <laughs> in this crew. You know it's bad when the second smallest car is a rally fighter. Uh, if I park, if I park here, nobody can see the Ferrari, right? If I park here, don't know the Ferrari exists. I should outturn everything. That's the thing, right? We will outturn that. There's gonna be a gap there. Just boot it and hope. Boot it and hope. Where is Liam gonna appear? Liam's gonna hopefully go chasing after the trucks. Whoop! We are. Hello. We are free. We can use the trucks as like a catch fence. <laughs> they are very effective at catching the little lightweight Ferrari. Uh, I mean, that worked. We got through it. We are off. Amy's going for like a huge amount of speed boost start. Oh, we're just fast enough to dodge that. Aaron, I don't think they're going to be able to change direction to get us. Uh, Liam won't get a pass. Gliska can't turn around. Ugh. Someone apparently got caught. I'm not sure who in that one. Um, so, there we go. Oh, did I... Oh, Chris... I mean, on our... Well, on our end, we were not even close to getting caught, but that is the way the d works. If, uh, if it says... If it says they haven't caught on their end, we have to go with it. Um, that is... That is how it works. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's the slight d -sync, so basically when my car appears on, on my end and where it appears on Chris's end, it's slightly different, and we have to go with the catching car. It's how it works in Hunt the Survivors and everything. I did not time that one there right at all. Um, so, yeah. Uh, unfortunate for me, but that is how it how it goes. Sadly, it's going to be a massive truck that wins. Um, but there we have it. Uh, we fought valiantly with the Ferrari. What massive truck is going to... We can't let the 6x6 win. God damn it. Everybody, we cannot let that thing win. Well, we got we got Blakey. I wasn't going for Blakey, but we got Blakey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Team Orange needs to work together better. Um, has Amy made it to the... Has Amy been caught? Yeah, I can presume so. It looks like... Okay, it looks like Rusky has got it. Um, in all of this. So, it is... Well, we've slightly released Rusky early because the cars went back, but never mind. Uh, here comes the Rally Fighter. Oh, the Tacoma committed and missed. Will the Rally Fighter make it across? It looks like they will. Yep, the Rally Fighter did it. Uh, it will be a victory oh, for the Rally Fighter, and it survives the bonus round. This was awesome fun. It actually works really well. I, I thought the arena might be a bit too wide, a bit too big for this, but nope, it worked perfectly well, I have to say. Uh, D-Sync's always going to be a Forza issue slash online gaming issue in general. Um, Always oh, has been with this with this sort of game mode, uh, but everyone managed to stay connected and able to see each other, which is uh, which is good. And there we go. That is going to be it for this video. It was a lot of fun. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, out a uh, goodbye. <laughs>